What's going on, Oasis? My name is Laxo, or at least that's what I go by in game. I am a YouTuber for your guys' game here. I, uh, I've i been recently getting a lot of feedback and requesting a lot of feedback from the actual community about what you guys can do as a company or what you know you guys can do to make the game more enjoyable and more fun because a lot of people are getting the thought that the game is coming to an end or it's going to get shut down, which I don't think it is because it's pretty much the number one advertised game on your actual website. So with that being said, um, I am only just the mouthpiece of what the community has given me right now. So please do not take anything I say as an insult. But I am strictly here just to give you guys suggestions and thoughts that you guys can run with to make the game better and more enjoyable for everybody. Because I, once again, speak for the entire community when I say we love this game. We wouldn't put so much time and money into it if we didn't love this game. And we don't want to see it go. We want to see it flourish and get better. So, once again, don't take anything I say as an insult. Please... Just uh, think about these and all these suggestions I'm going to put in my description below. I'm going to put this list right here that I have. I'm going to put it in the description below. Feel free to do whatever you want with the list. Copy it, paste it, put it on a bulletin board. I don't know anything you guys want to do. Feel free to do that. Uh, that's why it is there. With that being said. Let's go ahead and get into the list here. I'm going to start with uh, just things that I feel and the community feels you could do better as a company. Once again, this is not an insult, but suggestion. I feel, we feel like you could promote the game better. There's been little to no promotion. I believe, what, Teching 101, I think he had one promotion of this game. Other than that, I've never seen, I've never seen a promotion outside of maybe on Facebook. I saw one promotion or one ad or something like that. So, you know, you promote the game better. And the next suggestion is just be a little more interactive with the community. As far as uh, maybe on Reddit, you know, have having a, a person with an account on Reddit that maybe takes suggestions or talks to people on Reddit or Facebook or even YouTubers, you know, talk to them. Because once again, they are a mouthpiece, a major mouthpiece to the community. And if you can talk to them and have some kind of communication and dialogue with us, then it would greatly help out the enthusiasm. And that is a, the one thing I want to hit on, enthusiasm. Everybody has for the game because it's kind of dying and we really love this game. We want it to continue to succeed. Anyways, uh, the next thing is give us a roadmap of things that you uh, are working on of the game. And you could even be you could even be very vague about it. You don't have to be very direct, but give the community something to look forward to. Even if there is no timeable, just give us a roadmap, you know. Give us a list saying, hey, one week, two week, three week, four week, you know, or one month map of things that you have of ideas that you have or things that you're gonna be releasing in the game, etc. Um or I'm sorry, for example. Like, uh, Soyphone will be making her way into the game in the next few weeks. You know, and say it's... Don't have to say whether it's going to be an event or a season pass or anything. Just say, hey, Soyphone is going to be making her way into the game. Soon. Coming soon. But say that before it's even released or something. Give us something to look forward to. You know, hype us up. That's what we want. Anyways, the uh, next thing I'm going to get into is just very easy things that you guys can do to the game to make it uh, more enjoyable. You know, quality of life changes that everybody is requesting. Um, a lot of people have been requesting claim all buttons, but I feel like that's not mandatory. So let's just uh, get into what I have here I have listed. So a big, I mean, this is, I, I get this request all the time, is weapon availability make weapons more available in the game. Like, if I come... You are weapons, specifically. Specifically, you are weapons. Like, if I go here, and I have... 
I don't know, like I have 71K here. I have 265K and this is after buying the entire page out. I had like 400K of these. You know, why not give us a your weapon in here? Whether it's one random your weapon or your character weapon in here out of the, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80 your characters we have, just toss one in there randomly. Whether it's, you know, one of the original UR character releases or new one doesn't matter just you know if somebody like me just has three four hundred k of these sitting around hey toss one in there for you know 200k 150k whatever you guys feel like it's worth same with this as you can see i've almost bought this entire thing out and i still have 64k left so a couple of these if you guys can maybe toss a UR weapon into that'd be great and maybe take out some of these for the new, for the older servers because everybody pretty much already has all weapons. But anyways, uh, that's just uh, the first suggestion I have. Um, I will get into that later. But uh, more character um, availability in tech research, along with uh, more tokens that can be available, you know, in the world champion specifically. But uh, more characters that are available in tech research. If I come over here to tech research and check this out real quick, we can see that there are a lot of characters missing here. The last character updated was Butterfly Eisen, and that was like a year ago. So maybe update these characters. That would be cool. I'd appreciate it. And I'm going to get more into this uh, in a minute here, but that's just what I wanted to hit on with that as of now. Okay. Um, another major quality of life change for everybody would be uh, just giving us a Jade uh, uh, Soul Jade rebate as soon as an event goes live. For example, we just had the summer event and people had to wait till the last three days of the event to spend their jades because they couldn't use it without a rebate. So maybe I'm thinking just give us a jade soul re or a soul jade rebate, you know, for the 14 days that the event is live and then have it uh, overlap or I'm sorry, not overlap, but have it um, whatever. If we do get a jade soul rebate in that, in those 14 days, it just, goes away or it takes priority over that one so we aren't getting you know 60 percent jades back instead of 30 percent and just have it overlap it and only give us you know the 30 percent back but that would be really nice just give us a jade soul rebate as soon as the event starts so everybody can spend their jades immediately also a big suggestion i've gotten is uh Increasing possibly the the cap of the rebate from 60k to 100k or 60k to 120k, I think that wouldn't be too wouldn't be too bad. You know, it would help out those who have hoarded their jades for months and months, like I do all the time. Uh, anyways, uh, another big quality of life change would be if you give us a way to convert our rare shards to SR shards. And then our SR shards to SSR and then SSR to UR. For example, on some of these characters, I just have insane amounts of uh, extra shards on that I'm never going to use because I don't have a reason to use them. And it goes for, you know, almost all, I mean, not just mine, but almost all of our rare and SR characters, you know, give us a way to convert those to SSR shards or an SSR pack or something. Even if it's like a 10 to one or something like that ratio, just give us a way to use those. So we're not hoarding thousands of them. And I've been using mine. So some people probably have two, 3000 of those. So a way to convert those would be great. And then maybe SSR, a 10 to 1 ratio and do Omni shards. Just a thought. Uh, another quality of life would be uh, the, our um, our crystals that we have. Uh, give us a way to use them or sell them for jades, possibly. Any, any way that we can get rid of them 
because I think I specifically probably have like 90 to 100k right now that I'm just sitting on waiting for waiting to use them so give us a way to use them or sell them or get rid of them or do something with them you know don't just have it as an empty uh, material another big another big request I've been getting is the the season pass characters a lot of people that have gone away from the game for whatever a couple days a couple weeks couple months something like that and they come back all of a sudden they've missed they've missed you know two three four season pass characters and they really want them they need them but there is no way to get their shards in the game no way you miss them tough luck so maybe add them in here I mean, it is tech research, so it is, you know, it does cost quite a bit to use this, but a lot of people really want those characters that bad. So, you know, give us a way to get those um, get those characters, season pass characters, outside of that specific season. You know, give us a tech research or something. That would really help out and, you know, please a lot of people. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and get into special requests that we've had uh, for the game. Uh, for example, um, add another server bracket into the battle arena system with, you know, more rewards. So something more specifically that everybody can actually, you know, have fun with. I mean, we do have the Kempachi contest. We do have the Kempachi contest. But only the top 64 people, I believe, can participate in the Kenpachi contest. So why not make it so there's a giant battle arena or something where everybody can participate just to have some more fun, you know? And then the top in the top 10, 15, 20 places get, you know, some rewards. Not amazing rewards, but you know, just make it more interactive with it. Make Make it something that's more interactive with the community so they can have fun more, talk more, make make jokes, you know, have fun with each other, tease each other, stuff like that with the community. You know, you want the interactive interactivity, if that's a word, with the community of the community. That is how a game flourishes. Anyways. Um, promote in-game activity and uh, frequent logins. That is a, another big one is people log in every whatever hour to a couple hours and they log in and there's nothing to do except for, you know, I'm just going to come over here and hit uh, hit a character and upgrade and enhance them once and then that's all they do. You know, people want to play this game and actually enjoy the game. So, uh, give them something to look forward to or do something else other than, you know, just click a button and, you know, move on. You know, promote more in-game activities. Uh, log in. Oh, this is another good one. Here is um, log in every day for monthly bonuses. This, I've, almost all games I've ever played, except for this one, has a login bonus for like a month, you know. At the start of a new month, the first of every month, you get a calendar, and the calendar has rewards for every day you log in for the entire month. And if a player logs in every single day that entire month, the 31st or the 30th or the 28th or whatever it is, gets like a big reward, you know. So maybe you could do that, whether it's just really terrible rewards, like, I don't know, 10 soul jades the first day you log in, 50 soul jades the second day you log in, you know. Uh, so on and so forth. By the time you get to the end, you're looking at like, oh, you get, you know, 20, 10, whatever, 15 Omni shards for logging in, you know, or whatever, 20 SSR character shards. Uh, that would be a great way to promote people logging in every day. So people don't get burnt out and be like, ah, screw this game. I'm done and move on, you know, promote logins every day for a full month. That would get people really hyped for looking forward to the end of the month like oh my gosh you know uh the end of the month i get whatever uh 20 yamamoto shards oh my gosh i really need those shards to combine yamamoto 
give people a reason to log in, give people a reason to stay dedicated to the game, you know. All right. Um, make time tokens and coupons more available. One thing I have noticed is the only way to get coupons in this game is this little discount shop here. You claim your little 10, and that's it. You know, put these somewhere else other than just here. You know, give us give us them as uh, maybe a idle exploration or something. You know, toss them in here. You know, whatever an hour goes by, you got one. You know, an extra couple of day wouldn't hurt you guys and it would help us and, you know, make us more excited and give us something to look forward to when we log in as well, you know. Minor things that make a big difference. That's what we're looking for here. Another, this is pretty minor. Uh, uh, another thing I've been getting requests for is, you know, giving us a, a one free, like we have, you know, one free pull here, one free pull here, one free pull here, here. You know, why not give us a one free pull here and a one free pull here? Imagine how excited people would be to log in every day if you gave them one free tech research pull every day. Imagine how excited people would be to log in every day and do that. It might even get people excited to, hey, you know, let's push this times 10 button. So it would probably be a good idea, maybe. Um, anyways, uh, another big one is we've been stuck on this, um, this summon 2.0 for so long, you know, we're wondering when you're going to get a 3.0 or maybe another type of pull. So what I was thinking is just a thought here is why not have a summons 3.0, but add a bunch of maybe season pass characters, you know, just so we can get those extra season pass character shards. And maybe rotate, like if you come here, and maybe rotate a one random UR character out every every uh, month or week or whatever it is. You know, just rotate a UR character out so there's something going on there. I think that would be a lot of fun. A lot of people would look forward to that if it was available. And you could even toss all these other SSR and SR characters in there as well, just so it's a big filler box. But a lot of people would really, really enjoy that. Another big one is uh, give us a way to earn the the event summon tokens before it's available. Like, um, you know, put one free event token pull or summon pull in some kind of rewards, any kind of rewards anywhere before the event happens. So people can actually, you know, accumulate them and save up them and use them during that time of the event. I think that would make people really happy and excited to log in as well. Another way I came up with a good way to promote a lot of activity is increase the stamina regen. If you give, you know, plus one stamina per hour, plus one per level, it would promote people to log in, you know, once every six hours instead of once every 24 hours. You know, give somebody, give people a reason to log in once every couple hours, once every hour, so they have more to do with their stamina as opposed to, hey, I logged in once this entire day and I have 200 stamina to use, you know? It's kind of boring, so promote a lot of activity and a lot of logins. That would get a lot of people in the game clicking around and, you know, moving about maybe to the shop and this and that. So that would, that would a lot of people would appreciate that and would help out the community quite a bit. Uh, another one, in this is really minor suggestion. I don't think it's that great of an idea, but somebody requested on Serity Challenge when you draft a character, um, when we do Sarah Challenge, how we play Sarah Challenge, we just hit Auto Challenge. 
and then, hey, would you look at that? Hey, I'm done for two days. That's how I do Surge Challenge, and that's how probably a lot of other people do it as well. But if you actually, you know, give us something to look forward to. So if we click this, and we get a... Uh, and we get to choose between characters or this and that, you know, like this, for example, we have four characters and I don't care about any of these characters because every single one of my characters is better than one of these guys. So maybe, Hey, get people to want to click this by saying, Hey, if you click this and whatever, pick up Eisen here, Hey, you get plus one Eisen shard. Maybe something like that. It would uh, get people actually to play Serenity Challenge instead of just do what I do and just hit the auto button and be done with it. Uh, oh, another another uh, request was people really want the skins because a lot of people have missed the skins and people really, really want the skins. I don't even have all the skins. I refuse to get the skins because uh, if I can get actual resources that'll help me in the game personally, what's the use of getting skins? And, of course, you can... Put them in the real money shop as well. People would appreciate that. All right. Um, let's get into the big one here. This is the big one. New game modes. New game modes. And uh, in case you haven't caught on, I've been saying this a lot. You know, give us a reason to play the game and log in. And participate. So as you can see, I put that right here as well for like the fourth time here. You know, add any kind of game modes that give us a reason to participate in the game. Uh, one I came up with is in Squad Boss, how we always get the, um, the stones to upgrade our War Souls. Why not? maybe add another type of squad boss that we could do you know give us an option or give us multiple squad bosses that give us different rewards like uh like soul stone pouches that's a good one people really want to upgrade their characters gold for some reason a lot of people are still don't have enough gold as you can see i have too much gold and uh maybe tension ties a lot of people have been or a couple people have been telling me uh that they really need tension ties so that would be good as well. Any of those would be huge. And make it like a, you know, the same thing as the squad bosses, you know, only three times a day, but you can buy more tickets to do it more times type type of deal. I think a lot of people would probably really, really like that. Um, okay, so the next one is I've actually got I actually got inspiration from a bunch of different games for this is you know, give us a game-wide event other than actual events that take place. You know, give us something like a game-wide squad boss, you know. So, example, uh, within a week, everybody in the game has to do one, one trillion damage to a squad, to the squad boss and, and have it add up every single server, every single person that does it, you know. And if they complete it, hey everybody gets a reward or an extra event or something like that um a lot of people would really really like that and find it a really good way to you know once again interact with people and talk to people and say hey have you done your squad boss hey don't forget to do your squad boss hey you know it would give people an incentive to do something else other than just hit that cap because every every time i go to squad boss i hit that auto button because i know for a fact i'm going to get over that Three three hundred million damage mark, and that's all I need to worry about. So, give people an incentive to actually play the game and do squad boss. You know, get the most that get the most damage to squad boss. I think that would uh, that would be a lot of fun. Make it a game wide system so everybody in every server can participate. Another thing I've noticed is we only have the auto set characters to red i think it's red four or red five is what we have them at when we go to like world championships or kenpachi contest you know give us a game mode in game in game that sets all of our characters to red five and we have to fight against each other so everyone has a little bit more of a even you know fighting battleground as opposed to hey i have my character at prismatic blue two 
and he has his at you know prismatic green four so i'm just gonna one shot his character you know give us an even playing field against each other or against uh the game itself you know npcs whatever um pve anything like that you know auto scaling our characters would be a lot of fun it would get people to really think about the game and the characters and the strategies and what they're doing and what they need to do to beat certain floors or go certain places or do certain things so that would promote a lot of actual thinking which is you know what you want to add to a game you want to make people think about something not just auto and move on which is what i think like half the game has become is just push the auto button and move on you know promote activity and thinking and you know get people's brains flowing uh, okay next on the list is um perhaps a a new a new game mode where you can draft a character from a friend's team or a friend has you know like their character right here for example i have okiota so people can borrow my okiota for their team for one you know battle like i don't know right here for example you know make it so people can borrow a character from my team for one battle and they could use them test them have fun with them and then of course they don't get to keep them they don't get any benefits from it they just get to use my character borrow my character and if you'd like maybe hey you know somebody borrowed your character so here have an extra 10 soul jades or something you know something minor but you know a small reward to make people happy you know get that copium going uh let's see here another one is uh a game mode where you can like actually invite your friends in the game like if i'm sitting here and i click my friends list and I see, oh, hey, would you look at this? Gein is online. And I'm about to go fight the squad boss. And, hey, I could use his help. You know, make the squad boss, like, a little more difficult. You know, say, you have to kill the squad boss to get good rewards. Like, you know, give us, like, I don't know, five Omni Shards. Um, something like that. Something minor, but something helpful. In a way that we can, you know recruit friends like oh hey you know i'm gonna i'm gonna invite every single one of my friends just because i really want to finish this and and if they're actually they're playing the game they get a pop-up saying hey join laxo join laxo's raid and they could hit join and they can join the raid you know and they could get the benefits too that would also promote being active, being live, and talking and communicating with friends so you guys can get the most out of the game itself. Uh, another big one everyone and their mothers have been requesting for um, for well over a year now is a new squad boss. You know, give us give us Yami, the giant Yami that walks around. Give us Yami, or give us Aeon. Aeon is the uh, the weird giant monster thing with, yeah... Aeon. Aeon. This weird looking monstrosity thing. Give us this thing as a squad boss. I think that would be pretty fun if you give us something like this as a squad boss. You know? I don't think it would cost too much out of your pockets to maybe, you know, use this copyright or something as this character. You know, give everybody a little bit of fun. You know, change things up. Make a seasonal squad boss, you know? That would be a little bit of fun. Or make it a transformative squad boss. Like we had that one time in like the Defend Katakuta Town event where we had to fight Okiota and then Okiota base transformed into Resurrection and then so on and so forth. You know, give us a, give us a transformative squad boss. That would be pretty cool as well. And another one is um, sporadic in-game events that... They could be easily won. Anybody can do it. But, you know, I'm sitting here. I'm doing... I'm talking to people right... I'm talking to people right here. And then all of a sudden, hey, boom, I get a pop-up saying... Uh, whatever, Aizen is attacking Katakuta Town or something like that. You know, some 
something that's cheesy, but something that'll catch people's attention. So they'd be like, okay, hey, let's go ahead and do this event thing that we get. Maybe once every four, five, six hours or something like that. You could even put it on a timer. And hey, you know, do this event. You guys can make it very easy, very simple, or you guys can make it very difficult. And Or based upon how you do, you know, you get certain rewards, get certain things. That would be pretty cool as well. That would, uh, once again, promote activity and people logging in and staying in and talking to people and socializing and doing anything in game. That is what I'm trying to get at. Um, but once again, uh, what I'm trying to get out here is we're trying to, you know, give rewards based on participation and activity. Participation, activity, and maybe how much you social. No, it's, I don't like that. Uh, logging in, being active, you know in the game is what i'm trying to get at you know give people a reasonable i want to i want to hit my friends button right here and see 15 people logged in one two three four I, I have five here which is a lot more than normal usually i have like two or maybe three tops i think it's just because we had the day roll over but you know i want to see 15 20 people logged in playing the game being active you know having fun that's what i want to see and uh, the one thing that you guys are probably most looking forward to is, you know, I'm not just here to talk about and harp about what I want from you guys. No, no, no. We want to give back to you guys. So this is these are a couple ideas of or good ideas that you guys can make a lot of money in this game. And I think you guys can definitely make a lot of money if you do these things. So first thing is increase the V the VIP here. As you can see, I think we're at VIP 15. VIP 15. Increase this, increase the VIP cap to 30. How about that? And hey, at VIP 16, you can get some more eyes and shards. You can do something like that. You know, give, give people a reason to spend money and they will get that, they will get that hit of adrenaline, that copium, and they'll be like, I got to spend more money. You know, that's a good way to get people to spend money, you know, give them a higher ceiling to reach and people will aim for that ceiling. Guarantee it. Uh, or a new character. Um, I don't know, a new Aizen character or a new Ichigo character or um, anything like that. A lot of people would probably really dive in deep to spend money if you give them a better character or something release vip specific and you could even change the um the squad i'm sorry yeah the the squad um event over here you could even change this if people already have aizen you know let's just say it's an ichigo we have an ichigo right here you know put an aizen here or an ichigo or aizen and an ichigo here and you can only click one only do one or the other you know give people uh, that option give them a new character they'll spend money trust me because uh when i was getting to that point where i was looking at aizen i was like i can combine aizen right now with 150 shards or i can just spend an extra hundred dollars and get his character for free i think i'm gonna wait another month to combine him spend that hundred dollars or another week spend that hundred dollars get the character for free and then use those 150 shards to get him from four star to five star hey look at that you just made a hundred dollars off me see what i mean good way to make money and another big one that i that specifically um was talking to a friend and he got very very enraged about is you guys were advertising special packs for an event and you guys didn't give special packs for the event and he was pretty he was pretty upset and i was pretty upset too because i was looking forward to you know maybe spending some money and getting some decent packs but there were no packs during the event at all it was just the you know get a couple pulls for 10 bucks 20 bucks 100 bucks that was it we were looking for you know jades um we were looking for omni shards that's what we were looking for and we got just 
just do some more polls. Yeah. So, uh, give us more packs, like the Black Friday packs, the Christmas packs, anything like that. Give us some packs like that in the game during events, and people will spend money because as soon as they get that, you know, uh, season character, as soon as they get that character, they want to instantly get it to Prismatic Blue 2. And let's be honest, there are a lot of characters in the game, so it's going to be very difficult for people to get all of them. So just give them a little push in the right direction with some money. Or as, you know, consent of spending, or incentive of spending money. And people will always spend money. Good way to make some money there, too. Okay, another one. The, the new um, summon 3.0 idea I had with, you know, rotating UR characters, this and that. Um... Hey, even even make it so you have to buy, so you have to buy the tokens to with real money. You have to buy the tokens to actually do the pulls. A lot of people would do that because hey, a lot of people miss the season pass character and they want a season pass character. So, you know, e even if they're outrageous numbers like, you know, four hundred per pull or four hundred jades, or you have to spend you know five bucks for. I'm sorry, I should probably say something like ten bucks for you know, 10 pulls, something like that. People will be attracted to that and spend money to get those characters that they missed. Another thing that I think all games in this world should have is cosmetics for sale. That should be the number one thing on everybody's list in every game possible for sale. Always, that is how companies make huge amount of money, huge amounts of money. Cosmetics, for example, what kind of cosmetics do we have in this game? We have frames. If I come over here, hey, I have pretty much every frame in the game except for one person who is a cheater and won't, you know, drop an account. I can't get this frame, but nonetheless, hey, would you look at this? I have every frame, you know, give us more frames to add on. Give us more frames to add on that we could buy with real money and people will spend money to get those really cool looking frames. You know, maybe add, uh, I don't know, add like four Zanpak toes going back and forth, you know. I think people would probably pick up that in a heartbeat. People would, people would absolutely spend, you know, 20 bucks for a frame like that, you know. Just a thought. Another thing is... um. Also, in this uh, same thing here, uh, the backgrounds here, you can sell different backgrounds. If you guys have cool backgrounds or something like that, you know, from Waco Mundo or Katakura Town or any kind of landscapes or backgrounds or anything like that, hey, put extra ones in that people have to buy and they will buy them because they really want to log in and see this cool background every time. And on that note, same thing with music. Give us more options for music, even if we have to spend money. I do Tear of the Moon just because it's the most quiet one and I can talk over it. But, you know, people would happily spend money if you can give them a good tune to listen to when, they, when they're when they actually playing their game. Because I've heard this song probably 10 million times and I still don't mind it. I wouldn't mind getting some more actual songs to listen to and uh the final thing is um maybe possibly give us some kind of um give us some kind of uh item or cosmetic that we can put on our character like you know whether it be a christmas hat you know give us give me a christmas hat that i can just click character and it will show that character wearing a Christmas hat, you know, I'd love to see, I, I'd love to see Mudamasa wearing a Christmas hat. If you can give me a way to put a Christmas hat in Mudamasa, I do it every time, especially, you know, for a character like Okiura here, you know, give me a Christmas hat or give me some, give me some cool sunglasses, you know, some cool looking sunglasses and I'll buy those and put them on Okiura. So, hey, just a couple ways you guys, uh, could make money as well because I want to give and not just receive. I think everyone could agree with that. But anyways, um, Oasis, I 
really hoped I really hope that these suggestions I gave you really really helped you and opened up your eyes to what this game could be what you know what kind of things you can add to this game to really get people to want to play and log in and do stuff every day now I don't want to just again harp on you guys until you guys are doing bad you guys have added a lot of cool things to this game and that is the reason why people like myself and all these other people thousands of other people play this game is because they really enjoy bleach bleach is a bleach is a high-end you know product that you have and you don't want to just squander it you know continue giving us content continue giving us stuff to do new game modes you know evolve the game rotate the game keep it fresh i know i i can pretty much tell you exactly what's going to happen here i'm going to have defend katakuta town guess what hey i'm going to have another soul box hey guess i'm pro probably going to have an arena event after that hey guess what i'm going to have after that i'm going to have another soul box you know that is what this game has come to and People want something fresh. People want something fun. People want to interact and do stuff. A new game mode. That's what people want. And if you give them that, they will stick to the game. They will be loyal to the game. They will be loyal customers. They will spend money. They will support the product that they enjoy. Easy as that. Anyways, Oasis, uh, I hope you picked up something. I, I take my time very seriously, so I went out of my way to use my time to uh support the community bring the community together i've been taking ideas for weeks and um that's the best i got for you but nonetheless thank you for your time i hope you did listen to everything i would i really appreciate you as a company i really appreciate everything you've done and i want to continue to support you so Thank you for everything, guys. I appreciate you. And, hey, I'll still be there for you guys if you guys are there for me. I'll see you later.